I played 100 games of bridge and I thought it would be interesting to take note of the statistics. How many kills would I get? How many goals would I score? Which map would I play the most? How many times would my opponent disconnect? And so on. I split the 100 games into two sessions of 50 games to preserve my sanity and so these games were all recorded between roughly 3.30 and 6pm British summer time. Anyway, without further ado, here are the games. Oh, also, do, do you like my pride skin? I think it's pretty cool. So the first game, I actually managed to concede two goals, like, straight away. One was to server lag, and one was because I decided to take a stupid race. And so, like, yeah, nothing new there, and so, yeah, I got five goals and ended up winning. Game two, we had our first disconnect, and I wasn't really expecting it to happen quite this soon, but, but yeah, I really don't think they knew what they were doing, you know? Game three, we had our first, what I shall call, an oopsie. These happen quite regularly. Game 5 was rather uninteresting, but I did this, and then that. Game 6, we encountered what I would classify as our first sweat, but then they di di disconnected, like, instantly, so, yeah. In Game 7, my opponent disconnected, and then Game 8 ended up being the shortest game of all 100 at only 2 seconds after I queued the same guy as in Game 7. The poor guy, oh dear. Games 9 through 13 were pretty uninteresting, but then Game 14, I had to do my first hippo, I was, it was devastating, I couldn't believe I had to. Game 16 we encountered our first chatter who just refused to shut up and eventually disconnected, thank god, like he he just talked and talked and talked and was just like shut up bro I don't care. Game 18 was kinda sweaty but I did this which is probably the greatest bit of luck I've ever had in a bridge game. Game 20 lasted 2 minutes too long purely because it was on palestra and you know that's how those things go but I got a nice duke at the end at least. Game 21 we encountered a major sweat, they were trying way too hard but they had no clue what they were doing. Game 22 I can't tell if they gave up or had literally no idea what they were doing but this happened and it was, it was kind of funny you know. Game 23 I encountered another sweat but their name was a plural of a proper noun and had a Q in it so what was I expecting really. But whatever the case, this and this happened. In game 25 my opponent disconnected and I then queued the same person in game 26 and they disconnected instantly, shockingly enough. In game 28 at first I thought they were auto blocking but it turns out they just really thought that spamming left and right click at the same time was the best way to PvP I suppose. Game 30 was a pretty normal game but I did this and thought it was kinda cool. Game 31 brought me my first accusation and I did this but it was an otherwise normal game. Games 32 through 37 were pretty uninteresting, but I did this, this, and this. In game 38 I discovered the hard way that you cannot place blocks there. In game 40 I had my first kind of scare after having an absolute skill issue and conceding the first two goals, but I managed to win even though I then let in two more goals and ended up winning 5-4, it was a bit close, you know? 41 was a kinda sweaty game and I did this. In game 42 my opponent complained that all I was doing was bypassing which A was not the correct term for what I was doing but B also seemed to be working rather well so you know they can't really, you know. In game 44 my opponent was nicked and so I tried really hard assuming they'd be good and then they were awful and so they gave up. In game 45, my opponent was AFK, so I decided to do a little bit of target practice. I missed every shot. In game 47, I encountered a sweat who hippoed but had no idea how to defend, so I told them after the game not to hippo. They then had the audacity to party me. Like, bro, really? Then game 50, the final game of session 1, th they, they disconnected. It was pretty anticlimactic, I have to say. So session 1 overall took 1 hour and 49 minutes including a couple of breaks because there is no way I could play bridge for like 2 hours straight without like dying in real life. Anyway I got 256 kills and 122 deaths leaving me with a 2.09 kill death ratio. I won all 50 games and therefore had a 50 win loss. I scored 184 goals and conceded 13 leaving me with a 14 score, score concede ratio which isn't an actual thing but it should be a thing, so yeah. I averaged 3.68 goals per game and 5.12 kills per game. Mr. Cheesy was the map I played the most at 5 games, and I had 21 disconnects out of 50 games. Then game 51, the first game of session 2, 
was an absolutely normal game, nothing interesting happened. Games 52 through 55 were pretty bland, to say the least. 56, my opponent was trying way too hard, considering they clearly had no idea what they were doing. Game 60 was, uh, it was quite funny, so I have a guide plan that's going to be something like five things you're doing wrong in bridge, and the person in this game did three out of, out of the five things wrong in, in the space of 30 seconds. Like, how? How? Game 62 disconnected, but provided me with a nice montage screenshot, so that was that was nice. In game 63, my opponent was trying way too hard, but I did this. They then proceeded to accuse me of ping abuse, despite them winning so many fights that game, because they got the last hit before I did. That game also lasted seven minutes, because we both hippoed and it was on Lighthouse, and so I was rather sick of their playstyle at the end, I have to say. In game 64, I received another kind of scare, as I conceded four goals in a row after thinking they couldn't possibly be any good considering they were named after a bridge leaderboard player and had two Qs in their name, you know? But I won in the end, but I think you can tell how shaky I was by the end. In game 67, I finally encountered someone good who wasn't trying ridiculously hard, and I did this, and this. In contrast, game 68 was a complete mess. My opponent was trying way too hard, and I lagged back to at least twice, but they left after one goal, so, you know, it wasn't too bad. Game 69, haha, <laughs> funny number. That was my second shortest game at three seconds. In game 73, my opponent scored the first goal, but disconnected after I did this. Game 74, I actually ended up losing my first loss. I queued a Nick, who won 5-1 and was ridiculously good at the game. They did the same thing at least three times, and so I realise I, I, I kind of need to get better at like countering dukes and bypasses. But the cope in this situation, at least, is that they were bridge godlike and there was no possible way I was winning that game. Game 75 was a nice normal game, nothing too sweaty or anything. Then game 76, I also lost. Uh, they were ridiculously good at the so-called Latvian strat, which I think is just a fancy name for like perfectly block hitting so that you block when your opponent hits you so that you take half the damage. And like I was doing quite well until they kinda spawn blocked me and in retaliation I like really spawn blocked them but I don't spawn block normally so I don't know how to spawn block and yeah that proved to be a major mistake as they then proceeded to out PvP me several times build up an absolutely impenetrable spawn block of their own and so I ended up losing 5-4. My desk received quite a pounding after that game. In game 78, I encountered the person from game 67 again. They put up a good fight, but I did this. In game 79, I encountered poor Reducto for a third time, making them the person I fought most. So, Reducto, if you're watching this, I'm, I'm so sorry for your luck being that bad, god. Game 80, my opponent disconnected after saying, I don't like this game, which, fair enough, you were fighting me, you know. Game 82 disconnected after accusating me. Game 84 was a normal game, except this person had the audacity to wing on me, like brother. Brother. In game 85, I encountered the same Nick as in game 74 once again, and I was absolutely shitting myself with fear. God, I'd already lost two games, and I'd only expected to lose one in this challenge. Luckily, we were on Sunstone, which is well known for being a fair, balanced, and skill based map. I tried way too hard, and after conceding the first goal as a result of actually hitting a nice clutch rather than avoiding, you know, happens to the best of us, but I absolutely popped off and scored five goals in a row. We both agreed that Sunstone is the worst map after that game. Everything was pretty plain sailing after this game. Game 88, I got a nice ankle break, if that's what they're called. Game 89, the person wanted to Godbridge and I told them they were practice serves for a reason and then they said they wanted to show me and like, while I didn't say it out loud, in my head I really could not have given less of a damn. Game 93, the person immediately hippoed and then when I scored they complained that they were lagging even though they quite clearly weren't. Sure, that, that was like a little bit of server lag, but they, they then said, you just teleport, which, you know, if I was, they would have been too, like, they would have been teleporting for me. After the game, they then proceeded to shit talk me, saying, you're so trash, which is clearly cap. So join me next week for the next episode of Exposing Bridge Idiots. Slash J. Game 94 disconnected after suiciding me once. Okay. Then, finally, Game 100, the dreaded Game 100. Everything counted on this moment. If I lost now, I may never show my face in public again. Not that I do, anyway. But my opponent. 
I use Hozuni. And I use Hozuni fan could mean one of two things. Either they would be absolutely cracked at the game, or they would be absolute dog water. It turned out to be the former. We had a Mindman Club tryhard on our hands, trained in the arts of Minecraft PvP since birth. However, they had literally no game sense, and so I won 5 1, and it was really kind of anticlimactic, so yeah. Session 2 lasted 1 hour and 55 minutes, again with a few breaks. I got 274 kills and 179 deaths, so I had a 1.53 kill death ratio. I won 48 games and lost 2 games, so I had a 24 win loss, which is a bit low, but yeah. I scored 145 goals and conceded 24, leaving with a 6.04 score concede ratio. I averaged 2.9 goals per game and 5.48 kills per game. Atlantis and Treehouse were the most common maps, and as I played them 7 times each, which is far more than anyone should ever have to play Atlantis. And I had 32 disconnects out of 50 games. That's, like, what, 64%? Like, why? I could get a grade 9 in biology with that. And so the final stats were 530 kills to 301 deaths, giving me a 1.76 kill death ratio. 98 wins to 2 losses, giving me a 49 win loss, which is actually pretty respectable, I think. 329 goals to 37 conceded, leaving me with an 8.89 score concede ratio. I averaged 3.29 goals per game and 5.3 kills per game. Atlantis and Treehouse, again, were the most common maps, as I played them 9 times each. And I had 53 disconnects overall. So, what did I learn? Well, I found out I have no idea how to counter bypasses and dukes, but I knew that already. I also already knew that spawn blocking was a bad idea, but I never really realised how bad. I discovered you can't build very far back on outpost, which is actually some pretty useful knowledge. I learned that people disconnect far too frequently. I've been playing bridge on and off for the last year and a bit, and I knew people disconnected quite regularly, but I wasn't I wasn't expecting more than half of my opponents to disconnect. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it as interesting as I did. If this video does really well, I might do another one, but for now, if you did enjoy, please leave a like, and if you loved it even more than that, make sure to subscribe, but yeah, I think that's about everything, so yeah, thanks for watching, bye. That was... These, these just get worse and worse, god.